Okay, so we're back with another MVP 17 video. Now that his easy is in game, I think he's pretty solid, right? I am a big fan of him overall from using him against Broly, but now we're gonna see what he does against the Metal Cooler Core. I think his support is pretty potent. Uh, the, okay, the three key 60% defense was definitely ahead of this time. And so was this unit for a while. I think he was just so well designed. Um, it's quite good. Here's my build for him. Full level 10 links, 23 dodge. This time we could actually take advantage of the dodge potentially. So we'll see what happens here. Um, he's actually not on this first rotation. We have Kid Goku and Android 8 here on this first rotation, but we'll just play through it. Um, again, one thing I like about 17 in this fight is he does actually have type advantage here, which means that it's like not going to be a situation where you bring 17 in here and he gets obliterated by his deep, you know, the first fight, defense lowered and can struggle for the second fight. In fact, this Metal Cooler Core doing a lot of damage in this first fight is actually pretty helpful for you because you're able to get under 77% HP, which we just got here. Um, if the 17 is under 77% HP, not only does he provide uh, an extra 17% defense to all allies, which by the way makes his support 3 key and 77% defense to just everyone, like in the game, that's pretty crazy. He gets another 40% damage reduction, that was the same as he was pre-ZA, but that's added on top of a baseline of 17%, so essentially he has 57% reduction. Uh, I find that to be quite stupid once his full passive is built up, right? And he only needs to take three attacks to get his full passive defensively. So it's not really that difficult. Like in this fight, you're going to easily be able to get three attacks before we even get to the core. Um, I'm going to keep it with Gamma too. I think, well, at 17 showcase, I'll do this. Plus the last phase is against the, again, the core, which is a type of advantage for my Gamma. We'll get this with you. And then I'll heal up a little. Um, this should not heal me up above 77% and we're good. Okay, so yeah, 17 here. He is going to do some solid damage at 6.8 mil. I think his damage as well is not terrible for like everything he's providing to the rotation defensively. Now keep in mind, oh yeah, I didn't talk about this yet, but he does also greatly lower attack. Not going to be useful in a lot of situations, but in this fight, it will definitely be pretty good for us. Uh, since the first phase can be debuffed and you know in the future I'm sure there will be other red zone bosses who may even be in similar design to what we're seeing here Where we're gonna be able to debuff the enemy and in the situation that helps you it's like gamma 2 right here Which gamma 2 does have to do a lot of attacks built up may not be fully built up You know especially since he has to do five attacks, right? Um, not usually he does five like right here. He did three, right? Perfect example 17 great lowering attack here we're going to live this because of 17. Yeah, 82k is definitely not bad at all. It's not just 17. Kid Goku also did do some, you know, work himself here, but definitely is helpful. Um, six. I don't want to get physical orbs. Nah, that sucks. Um, no, we should be okay. I don't think we're going to heal above it. No, we're under a threshold. Okay, perfect. We're good. Yeah, okay, because I want to enter the fight while I'm under 77% HP. That's going to be very, very important to me. As long as that happens, which it's guaranteed to happen now, 17 could even go in slot 1 if you really want. I would be very happy to see 17 live a super from the Metal Cooler army. Uh, again, uh, looking at the 17 on paper, I was really worried about him above the 77% threshold. Because at that point, he only has 17% damage reduction. Uh, I did, again, show him against Broly. He got kind of cooked by Broly when he was above the 77% reduction. But under, uh, I mean, the restriction. But under that threshold, he is disgusting, right? So I understand why they had that. Um, even if he just had a 40% baseline reduction, he would have... Would he be by far the best easy to or even above Blue Cow Ken? Maybe even. Because he's providing so much to the team. And... He himself is just so tanky, right? I mean, even right now, I feel like just using him, is he... I might like him as a second best. And, again, that's specifically on his Android teams. Again, on Tournament of Power, he might not be really as good because he's going to lose all on Android Assault, which is 20% defense, and Shocking Speed, another 5% defense, right? This is not going to do damage, actually. Yeah, 81k, that's nothing. All right, we're good here. 
Um, and we have the pickle support, so... Oh, you sealed him. You're annoying, aren't you? I think that's fine, though. 470k defense, uh, even when you steal it, it's fine. So we'll grab this here. I'll get this with you. And then I'll let Piccolo get this. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, 17 should still be fine. Honestly, even if it, even without him super attacking, he gets 30% defense on super, but... Let's see, let's see what he tanks here. Even if it being sealed, right? <laughs> let's see what kind of tanking is going to do for us in this rotation. Now Gamma 1 here should be fully built up too, so that's nice to see. Please super him in the middle. I would love to see that. Please super him in the middle, I'm begging you. No, but he's still tank double digits. I mean, the core doesn't really do damage before he super attacks. He does 430k, which is a little more than Broly. It's not bad damage, right? But like, it's not like, you know, at this point units could tank really, really well. It's after he super attacks where he has an attack race for the turn. That's when things get more, you know, difficult, I guess, in terms of tanking. Um, I can get the Kid Goku active skill here, sure. Not the worst ever. And Gamma 1 getting, uh, Gamma 2, I mean, getting Seal right there is also not really that big of a deal. We should be fine even without healing. Yeah, okay, Kid Goku would actually be able to live. Should I just heal anyways? I kind of don't want to. I'm not going to heal. Um, the reason why is because he might not even super this turn. He supered at the very end of last turn. And he's not even... He, he only has, what, like, six attacks this turn, right? Am I crazy? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He has seven attacks this turn, right? But I feel like a lot of times where he doesn't super, like, or supers at the last end of the turn, he doesn't super the following turn. And even then, my kid Goku does have dodge. Worst case scenario, I'll just hop back in here, right? Uh, unfortunately, we do have the three tries a day back, which is very annoying, but it is what it is, right? I mean, they said that they're only going to have it during these major celebrations. He dodged both of them anyways. Okay, we're looking good. So this next turn, we're actually going to have... Okay, Gamma 2 is going off here. This next turn, we're actually going to have the same damage reduction. Um, let's just put him on the first slot, I feel. Should I? He would die, would he? If I don't heal here. I think I'm just... I think I will hero. Should I put him in slot 1? It's... We're gonna test it. I don't think he would live. Even with 58... With this 57% reduction. Would he live? I'm not sure how exactly good enough that's gonna be. He's gonna super this first slot. For sure. Right? Yeah, there it is. Okay. Let's see. He has his full passive. He's getting a lot of links active. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> okay. Um, that's really good, actually. 377k as a support unit. Before he supers, by the way, again, he gets a lot of defense on super attack. I like this guy a lot, actually. I'm not finding it hard to stay under 77% HP. I'm really not. Um, I did have to heal though. If I didn't heal there, I would have died. But also, to be fair, I would have most likely put Gamma 1 in the first slot and you would have taken like 50k damage. So, uh, <laughs> just for the showcase purposes, I wanted to see 17. Yeah, uh, this is quite good. <laughs> I am a big fan of the 17 actually. Because, uh, again, he's doing all this. Like, his offensive numbers aren't the best, but he's supporting. 377% defense in the entire rotation. That's that's crazy. That's a really potent support unit. Like, he's allowing Gamma 1 to get, like, nearing a million defense with 50% damage reduction once he super attacks, especially, right? Start of turn, he's like 700k defense. 800k defense, right? Like, that's nasty. Okay, we should be good here. Uh, pick a look out too, but not really good. Not a big deal. Yeah, I think we kill this rotation. Could I grab this with you? Uh, same thing. We'll get eight orbs just to do a little better there. Yeah. Um. <laughs> dude, that's. I'm just still stuck on that. Wow. He's like under 400k, pretty super. And then again, he was what 420k 
So he'd be over 600k once he supers. Easily. So he'd probably take like... Save off 100k damage of that, at least. Okay, thank you, Kid Goku, for coming through, buddy. I was like, oh, uh, Kid Goku, are you gonna finish him off, buddy? He's not better than Blue Cow Ken, right? No, I don't think so. I think I think Blue Cow Ken is too powerful. He's he's just he's just just nasty. The 17. Whilst Blue Cow Ken has the restriction for the Spirit Bomb. I feel like it just wins everything. 17 doesn't necessarily just like win everything for you, but he's still disgusting, right? I mean, it, he's providing a lot. So, yeah, I, I think he's better than Blue Gogeta and Buhan even overall. At least, again, on this team specifically, because like Blue Gogeta could work on any team he's on. Because you could just throw him on the team and he's perfectly fine. The 17 does need a more specific setup. But on the setup, just again, just like Blue Cow Ken Goku on the certain setup, he's a gamer. I'll be interested to see how they buff Tournament of Power if we'll get like some other like 17 18 duo combo. And he works really well with them on this team to give him Android Assault. Even like Twin Terrors will be a link where they get dodge chance, extra support, infinite energy, right? We'll see how things go because, like, 17 and 18, they share a lot of links. Uh, turn of power 17 and 18. So, if you get a new unit like that, that'll link up with this guy, that'll be really good. But I guess I would doubt that because the easy this guy here instead of like a potential unit like that awakening. But whatever, um, let me know what you guys think. I'll go to sell max next, and I think we'll call it for the video. So, I'll catch you in the next one.